Hello everyone. If you're curious about the competition between the two, Star, Humanoid Robots, Boston Dynamics Atlas, and Unitree Robotics Unitree G1, today we're going to take a look at what they've been up to as of March 2025. From natural walking to top-notch acrobatics, both are pushing the boundaries of robotics technology. Join me as I explore Atlas, the king of agility and dynamics. Boston Dynamics released its Walk, Run, Crawl, RL Fun video on March the 19th, 2025, and Atlas once again proves why it's the king of humanoid robots. The 1 minute and 10 second video shows Atlas walking smoothly like a real person, running at a steady pace, crawling in a funny, frog, style, and even doing cartwheels and breakdance moves. What's so special? All of this is powered by reinforcement learning, RL, AI technology, that helps robots learn by experimentation, without the need for rigid programming. The new Atlas, fully electric version, launching in April 2024, has 28 free joints, far surpassing the G1 in terms of full body flexibility. With the ability to rotate its neck 360 degrees and free hip joints, it can not only move, but also manipulate objects with high precision, such as picking up objects, pushing heavy objects, or working in industrial environments. On X, users commented, Atlas now walks like a human. Boston Dynamics is still the standard. In collaboration with the Robotics and I Institute, RAI Institute, Atlas is being upgraded to handle more complex tasks, such as mobile manipulation in the Hyundai factory, where it will soon be commercialized. Unitree G1, small but bloody. Meanwhile, the Unitree G1 is not to be outdone. At just $16,000, the G1 is a super affordable alternative to the Atlas, estimated to be in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. By March 2025, the G1 has made significant strides from the world's first side flip, announced on March the 19th, 2025, to walking with, style, and running a 2M, S, 4.5 miles per hour. Videos from Unitree it's is 2025 show the G1, climbing stairs filled with trash, jumping 1.4 meters, and balancing when pushed, all thanks to 2343 joints of freedom, depending on the version, and knee joint torque of up to 120 Nm. The G1 has also been upgraded with an open source motion dataset from Unitree, allowing it to move more naturally, even dancing with humans. On X, a post from at underscore news praises, Unitree G1 is pushing the limits of humanoid robot agility, while smaller, 1.32 and compared to Atlas 1.5M. The G1 is compact 35 kilograms and foldable, making it ideal for research, education, or home support applications. Comparison, who's better? Mobility, Atlas leads with full body agility and complex movements like acrobatics. Thanks to RL and a 10-year history of development, G1 is agile and innovative, side flips, long jumps, but lags behind in smoothness and range of motion. Technology, Atlas uses advanced AI and high-end hardware, electric motors plus LiDAR sensors, real sense cameras, while G1 relies on cost-effective design and uniform AI for precision manipulation, like cracking walnuts or welding. Practical applications, Atlas targets heavy industry, and rescue with its superhuman strength can lift 11 kilograms, while G1 focuses on flexibility and low cost, suitable for education, light services, cost and scale. G1 wins big with a price of $16,000 and plans for mass production, while Atlas is still a high-end project, with no official price announced but certainly much more expensive. What does the community say? On X, the debate is very heated, at Church, wrote, Boston Dynamics excels in dynamic engineering, but Unitree is closing the gap with low cost and high production. At Hongwai 0377, emphasized, G1 can do side flips right on the ground, while Atlas needs altitude. This is a big step forward for China. However, many people still lean towards Atlas because of Boston Dynamics' innovative legacy. As of March 2025, both Atlas and G1 have made great strides. Atlas remains the king in terms of flexibility, power, and AI, while G1 impresses with its agility, affordability, and rapid development. Boston Dynamics leads with its experience and long-term vision, but Unitree is making strong strides, especially in the low-cost and multi-application segments. This race is sure to heat up as both continue to improve. Who do you think will win? Share your thoughts 